it's me, Lola Major Kojevor, and we are back again on We Love Style. Yes, we do. And today I'm joined today with Mini Me. See? Her name is Lola. Say hi. Yeah. No more talking. Anyway, so today we're going to go through really simple steps of how to create the perfect black liner. I love my black liner. I can't go anywhere without my black liner. You know this and that's why you ask me this. So I'm going to show you how to do black liner using three different types. We're going to do the liquid pen liner, we're going to use the um, gel liner, and we're also going to use the felt tip pen liner. Just to show you how easy it is and to show you you've got a little bit of variety. Okay, you ready? We've kept the eyes very simple. We've gone for a very natural, neutral, um, defined eye. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to do that liquid liner to make it as easy as possible in a couple of simple steps. Okay, so the first type of um, liquid liner you might find is this pen type liner. We have it at Sacred, which is really good for um, people that aren't quite used to using liquid liner. Okay, the next type of liner you might find is my personal favorite, the way that I use it every day, all day, is the type that has the brush. You can get some that have felt heads, but I like this one because it's a little brush and you have a lot of control using it. But you've got to be a little bit more experienced to get a really smooth line. And the next type that you'll probably find, which has become a real big craze, everybody's using the gel liners right now, but they're not new. This is actually how they used to use black liquid liners. Back in the 20s, they would use it as a cream, and you would need to use a brush to apply it. So this is the real vintage style, because this is the way that you would be able to get the really nice smoked cat flick. The mistake that a lot of people make is that they actually try to do it all in one go. Don't try and do it in one go, you're going to stress yourself out. Go slightly above the cut crease if you want a very dramatic cat eye flick. If you don't want it to be so dramatic, you can go for a kitten tail, which only comes out a little bit further there. Okay? I'm going to do this in three stages. First of all, know how long you want your line to be. So measure it up. Where do you want it? What angle do you want it to be at? So line up where you want the next line to go. Do you want it to be thick? Do you want it to be thin? I'm just gonna make it a little thin. I'm just gonna draw the line from where I've marked. Just like that. It's really simple because I've kept the skin tight. Now I'm gonna go to the bottom corner outer edge of her eye. You must remember to fill it in. Simple, right? Now the next stage is for you to then go along the eye. Follow it along how thick do you want it to be? And do you want it to go only to about halfway of the eye? We're gonna go in the other direction. So we're gonna fill it in backwards. Really simple when you're using the pen liner. Now, if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous or if you want a really super glossy, very delicate line, you can try using the brush. So imagine you were doing it on the same eye. You can see that it would be a little bit more delicate how you would create the line. But it's the same concept. You'll just pull it back and pull it along. You would need to do a lot more filling in, but you could get a beautiful sharp point with the brushes. Now let's get on to the fun part, the gel liners. The gel liners are the easiest thing for everybody to use, so there's no shame in getting a little bit of tape. It works wonders, and trust me, some of the most professional makeup artists use the tape to get a really sharp line. Now you're gonna need to use a really good angled liner. When you pick it up, you don't want to put too much on the brush, otherwise it's going to end up going everywhere. Just pick it up and then press off the excess. And again, decide where you want the line to go from. You take the tape off, you've got a beautiful line. Now you can come in afterwards with a little bit of concealer as well. Around the same tone, just slightly lighter. And there you go, see? I told you no look was complete without your black liner and your lashes. 
So thank you so much for joining me um, for a full lash tutorial. Um, you can check out the other posts that I did previously. And coming up next, we're also going to be doing um, her lips and her cheekbones as well. Can't wait! Yay! If you have any questions whatsoever, you can mail me at lola at mysacredbeauty.com. Follow us on Instagram at Jamia Fashion and let me know what you guys think. What do you think? Do you love it? I love it. So I'll see you guys soon next time. Bye!